now here with Sheep Hill Herbs. Outside, take a deep breath. Feels so good to be outside. I am gonna talk about this lovely shrub behind me in just a minute. So I'm a homeschool mom of five. I'm an herbalist, I'm an artist. And I, I make these videos, I, I actually started making these videos last September because I just felt like more information should be shared with people about plants and herbs and natural healing. And I just felt like I know a lot. <laughs> I've been doing this 20 years. I basically live off of our plant medicines. And, you know, although I will not speak to a specific disease because I can't, um, I want to and hope to inspire you. So I was saying that um, I do these videos. I guess it's basically what I see as free education. Um, I have learned so much from others who have posted videos and it's kind of like I'm giving what I can, what sharing what I can and hoping that for the reciprocity of going down into my description, checking out my books, going to my links, going to my Etsy shop and contributing to this channel so it grows and also that um, compensation comes in for me to be able to have time to keep making these videos. So please like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell button so you know about new videos. Check out my description and let's talk about this plant. So I'm going to turn my camera around so I can give you a better up close view. Okay, this is called Autumn Olive or Japanese Silverberry. It is native in Asia and it was introduced to the United States, to the Americas in 1830. And it was, um, I guess, introduced as like a, a crop shrub for animals and birds. The berries are up here. I'm going to grab some. This, these branches down here, for some reason, do not have any. But the mo this is a beautiful plant. And I don't know if this is capturing the silver as well as in person. This bush reminds me of olive leaves. You can see the leaf is so smooth it's kind of speckly and the underside is most definitely silver so this has grown quite high it's meant to be a shrub but it can be tree like and I know it is considered invasive and people want to get rid of it but it has these delightful little berries that you can eat and also make into like a syrup or a jam or um freeze. I'm going to just show you some. So the berries are kind of like the leaves. They have these like speckles on them, just like the leaves have this like silvery speckle. I don't know if I can show it properly there. Like I said, it is just such a beautiful bush and the berries are slightly astringent, but they're very good. And I know that they're helpful for the kidneys the bladder, the urinary tract, most kind of tart astringent berries are good that way, tightening tissues, and just another plant that you can enjoy in nature if you can find it. So I'm just going to back up a little bit and show you a better view. So I'm just showing you how big it is. And so I would say this is not like a marshy kind of bush. It has, it, it often is like roadsides, but try to get like fields, if you find it in fields to eat the berries. Um, I haven't really found it in really wet marshy soil. It does spread, it is invasive, but if you have room, it can be a wonderful plant to Here's have. Here's the little berry. It's very, it's good, it's astringent has a tiny seed it's not hard like you can just chew through the seed they're really good i enjoy them we love them we we look for them in the fall identifying characteristics are the silvery leaf and then let's go in here again the berry is not this like like a bright red solid berry it has silver little dots which are pretty darn interesting 